In this video, we're going to talk about installing WordPress onto your server. So WordPress itself is free, but in order to use it, you will need to have hosting, a domain name, and a database. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that you have all of these, and I'm going to show you how to set up WordPress. So here I am at wordpress.org. Make sure that you're at wordpress.org and not wordpress.com because wordpress.com is something different. And I'm going to click on the Get WordPress button. Now I'm going to click on Download WordPress. So this is the file that I just downloaded from WordPress. So I'm going to open it. And inside, there's a folder called WordPress. So I will need to extract this folder. So if I open up this folder, these are all the files that I need to upload to my server. There are several ways that you can upload these files. You can do that through your hosting control panel, such as cPanel. You can also do that through FTP. So for this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload files through FTP. In order to do that, you will need an FTP client such as FileZilla. If you don't have FileZilla, you can download it at filezillaproject.org. We will leave this link under the video description. And the installation process for FileZilla is fairly straightforward. Now I've opened up FileZilla. In order to connect to your server, you will need to have a host, username, and password. If you're not sure what these are, you can ask your hosting provider for this information. So I'm going to go ahead and connect. All right, so here on the right hand side, you will want to navigate to the root directory for your site. And on the left side, you will want to navigate to the place where you extracted the WordPress folder. This is the WordPress folder that I just extracted a moment ago, and I'm going to open it. And now you will want to select all of these files and then click on upload. Now that all the files have uploaded, you will want to open up a browser and navigate to your site. Here we now have the WordPress installation screen. First of all, it's asking you to choose the language. Then you can click on continue. Now WordPress is asking you to connect to your database. So let's go. Here you will want to enter your database name, username, and password along with the database host. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I've now entered my information. If you're not sure what your information is, you can contact your hosting provider and ask them for it. So now I'm going to click on submit and then run the installation. Now WordPress is asking you for some more information about your site. First of all, site title. I'm just going to put bridge. Username, I'm going to put admin. For a password, we recommend choosing a strong password that contains both letters and numbers. But for this video, I'm just going to put admin. And then your email address. I'm just going to put a dummy email address for this purpose. And then click on install WordPress. Now I'm going to click on login. Now you will need to log in with the username and password that you just created a moment ago. So I'm going to put in admin and then admin. So great, we now have WordPress installed. Let's click on appearance themes. Here you will see the default themes that come with WordPress. As of now, 2019 is the latest theme that they developed. I'm going to click on my home page. And as you can see, these are the default styles that come from the 2019 theme. Let's click on posts. So here we have hello world. That's the default post that comes with WordPress. So I'm just going to open it quickly. All right. So this is the default post. And as you can see, WordPress now comes with the Gutenberg editor. All right, so this video was about installing WordPress. In upcoming videos, we're going to talk about installing the bridge theme and about importing demo content so that you can start setting up your site.
If you would like to be notified about upcoming videos, you can subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section. Thank you for watching.